In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called simplifying a ratio of polynomials using GCF factoring. So GCF is greatest common factor. In both the numerator and the denominator here, I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor. But before I do that, just a quick reminder that in order to simplify a fraction, I need to have terms being multiplied in the numerator and in the denominator, so multiplication in the numerator and the denominator with the same term being multiplied in both. What that would allow me to do is cancel that term. So just to give a quick number example, if I had four times three in the numerator and I had four times two in the denominator, I could cancel both of those fours and just have three halves. But the only way I can do that if this four and three and four and two are being multiplied. So back to our problem, we have six X squared minus 15 X. So we have two terms here, the six X squared and the 15 X being multiplied. I wanna factor out the greatest common multiple. First, I'm going to look at the numbers 6 and 15. And if I were to think of the multiples for 6 and 15, the multiples of 6 are 6 and 1, 2 and 3. The multiples of 15 are 15 and 1 or 3 and 5. The largest one that they have in common is that they both can be written as multiples of 3. So that means that I can factor out a 3. And then they also both have at least one x. The first term, 6x squared, has two x's, and the second one has one x. So they both have at least one x. What would that look like if I were to factor out a 3x? Well, from the first term, 6x squared, in order for this to distribute and get back to 6x squared, I would divide the 6x squared by 3x, and I would see that I would have a two left, six divided by three is two, and then one of these x's would cancel and I would be left with an x. So again, to check this, three x times two x would give me the six x squared. Doing the same thing with the second term. Here we have a 15 x, so 15 x divided by that three x that I'm factoring out, the x's cancel, 15 divided by three is five. Again, no x, and I can check this because three x times minus five would give me the minus 15 x. So we factored out a three x from the numerator. In the denominator, I'm gonna ask myself the same questions. Looking first at our two expressions, three x squared, and minus 21x, what do they have in common as far as factors? Well, the three and the 21, they're both divisible by three. So I can factor the three out. And then they both have at least one x. The first one has x squared, the second one has x. So they both have an x. And then I just need to know what's left when I factor out the three x. So if I take this first term, three x, squared and I divide that by 3x. The threes are going to cancel. This x cancels one of the x's in the numerator and I just have x left. And if I check this, 3x times x gives me the 3x squared. Now for the minus 21x, the minus is still there. 21x I'm factoring out the 3x, so I do the division to see what's left. The x's cancel. 21 divided by 3 is 7. Checking to make sure I didn't make any mistakes, 3x times a minus 7 is minus 21x. So we have factored out the greatest common factor from the numerator and from the denominator, and now that we have multiplication, I can see that they both have this 3x and that these are factors. This is multiplication. 
So just like we started off with, whenever we have that multiplication, we can cancel those terms. So this 3x and this 3x are going to cancel. That means I'm only left with the 2x minus 5 in the numerator and in the denominator x minus 7. The other terms have canceled, so this is our simplified fraction.